Visual aids Don't make visual aids visual distractions. Do keep these factors in mind prior to presentations. Make sure the plug reaches the socket. It is a good idea to carry an extension cord. Put the projector at a height that is comfortable for you. Make sure the lens is dust free. Put the projector on a vibration free base. Arrange the electric cord so no one will trip over it. Focus and center the picture on the screen beforehand. Number your transparencies in accordance with your facilitator's guide. Never assume projectors will work. Have a backup strategy ready. While making presentations, keep these points in mind. Keep the screen above the heads of the participants. Keep the screen in full view of participants. Make sure you are not blocking anyone's view when presenting. Darken the room appropriately by blocking out sunshine and dimming nearby lights. Turn the screen off between slides if you're going to talk for more than two minutes. No one should be farther from the screen than six times the width of the image. Talk to the audience, not to the screen. Use a pointer to emphasize points. Don't use it as a crutch and don't wave it widely. Keep these two points in mind before presentations. Check the height of the easel. Make sure you have plenty of paper. Tips during presentations. Title each page with a short topic or heading. Print the large block letters more than one inch high, larger if the room is deeper than 30 feet. Printing should be neat and legible. Use different colors for page headings and primary points. The color red should be used only for emphasis. Do not use pastel colors. Black, blue, dark green and brown are acceptable. Put marker down when you are not using it. Don't talk to the board while writing on it. Do not write more than 10 lines on a page. Do not fill the page to the bottom. People in the back will be unable to see. Respond to and note input from participants. Post important papers on the wall with masking tape or pins. Do not write on the papers after posting on the wall. The pen may bleed. Highlight key points. Respond to and highlight input from participants. Allow time for reading, retention and note-taking. Use the matador tear, a sharp tug at the corner, not straight down. You can also make use of other suggestions such as For complex pages, prepare a head in light pencil and then trace with a marker. If you travel with prepared pages, roll them up and carry them in a mailing tube. Sometimes you might use two easels, one already prepared and one for extemporaneous use. Before you start your videotape presentation, follow these steps. Be sure the videotape is rewound and at the starting point. Check to make sure the playback machine and the monitor are playing properly. Check audio level and contrast. Lights should be dimmed but not turned off. And of course, while making the presentation, these key points. Explain what the purpose of the tape is before playing it. Show interest in the tape and watch it enthusiastically. Summarize the main points after you have shown the tape. Bear in mind these points before audio tape presentation. Be sure the tape is rewound 
and at its starting point. Adjust the volume so all participants can hear. Use a high-quality recorder to prevent distortion. If the recorder is portable, position it at table level of the participants. Explain the purpose of the tape and identify the speaker before playing. Always carry a backup tape. Use of books. If you are using training manuals, make sure each student has one. Make sure you have a few extra books with you in case extra students arrive. Make sure you frequently reference page numbers with your audience so they know where you are in the book. Use of handouts. For visual variety, provide handouts on yellow light blue paper. Distribute the handouts just prior to discussing the topics. Have extra handouts for unexpected participants. Do use a microphone in situations such as In a set piece occasion, when everyone else is using one, in extremely large spaces or lecture theatres, if you have to deliver a prolonged period of uninterrupted speech in a large space, outdoors, in front of a large crowd, if there is a lot of background noise. The most popular types of microphones are static, fixed on a stand, clip microphones, clipped to an item of clothing, usually around the upper chest area, Radio microphones. These allow the speaker to move around relatively freely whilst speaking, although they may need to be held by the speaker. Some tips on the use of static microphones. Position the microphone as close to the sound source as possible. Position yourself about 6 inches away from the microphone head. If you wish to increase the bass enhancement, get a little closer. Do not touch the head of the microphone. Make sure that the microphone stand is at the right height for you. If it is not, adjust it before you start to speak, preferably with the microphone turned off. Before you start speaking, check for the switch on the microphone. If there is, ensure it is in the on position.